Hi, my name is Mark Anderton, and I'd like to introduce you to our aircraft support ladder. This ladder has been based on proven little giant technology. Uh, it's specialized AS, aircraft support, uh, specifically meeting a requirement for our U.S. military in the aviation maintenance. Uh, this ladder specifically meets military uh, specification 85896. Uh, let me describe a couple of the, the unique features with the AS ladder. First of all, it has specialized hinge locks. The way that we designed these is that this is an incredibly sturdy ladder to be used in the aviation maintenance site. The ladder is FOD free for an obstacle debris. There's nothing on this ladder under normal use that will fly off and be able to get sucked into one of the uh, expensive aircraft engines. A couple of the features it has on here is, again, the, speci the specialized locks. You notice these are a little bit different than what you see on our classic version. They're not orange. Um, very heavy duty. There's also rubber uh, bumpers. The reason that we put these on is to protect this hinge. For the, uh, not only for storage while you're storing it, but for the rigors of, of using this ladder operationally. It protects the ladder. Additionally, we have uh, tie-down D-rings on the ladder, not only uh, on, on both sides, on the left side and also on the right side. This is used for very many different purposes, a couple of them. To be tied down on the deck of a, a Navy ship, also, I, they have been used these in the United States Air Force to lash them inside of the aircraft or for operational use while they're in the maintenance bays or so forth. There's many, uh, many uses. Uh, it also, this provides you with a ladder, a very compact storage signature. Four feet, seven inches. This particular ladder has the capability of reaching up to 15 feet. Uh, it also has additional bracing down at the bottom. It, we call it double bracing. Uh, this particular ladder has a foot that you may have not have seen before. We call it a slick surface slash ice foot. How you're seeing it right now is in the ice foot position, meaning there's a point down at the bottom of the, uh, of the ice foot that can be rotated down for a slick, sur slick surface application. Let me show you what this, some of the unique features about the ladder. The ladder stores in just four feet seven inches. If you release the, lock, or the hinge tabs and also the specialized locks, you can raise the ladder up in one foot increments. Lock it in. You can continue to do that at one foot increments until you get all the way to the top. Turn the ladder into the A-frame. Now again, you notice that there's no spreader bars. This allows you to place it right over uh, some kind of obstacle that you may be faced with. Additionally, there's rungs on both sides of the ladder. This enables you to put an operator on each side. This ladder is rated for 300 pounds. It meets and exceeds ocean and sea standards. Additionally, if you release the tabs on the side, you can get into sloping ground or even into staircases if need be. Bring it halfway down, lock it back into place, and now you're into a 90 degree position. So you can take this ladder, put it right up next to the skin of that aircraft because we know how expensive uh, the aircraft itself is. Put it right up next to the aircraft, climb up, and be able to maintain your engines. Uh, w wash the aircraft, whatever, whatever needs that you would have to do it will get into the A-frame position itself. Now that was quick. One of the things which you can do with the AS ladder, with all of our ladders, is to take it into the scaffolding position. Release the, the specialized lock tabs. Good pull on the inside. There's your first 1,000 pound trestle. You take one of the outers and, and turn it around. I, I want to show you something though. If you, remember when we were talking about the feet? Right now, this is in the ice foot position. You also have the capability of rotating this down and put it into the slick surface uh, position as well. It can be used either way. 
So you turn one of the outers around, you lock it into position. Now you have two trestles that you can place a scaffolding position on. What we have here is just a demonstration plank just for that purpose only. We sell three different sizes that are much larger than this, but for the purpose of the demonstration, I want to show you what this is capable of. You put your plank in there, extend it all the way out, and it has locks on the end of the plank that will attach to the right to the rung that'll give you a secure locking mechanism. Now, we don't recommend that you put your plank on top. You can to use it just as a working platform, but not to stand on. If you're going to stand on the plank, all of the other rungs line up so you can use it from in three different positions on this ladder. Now you have a capability, if you're forward deployed, you're away from your duty station, you have a way to maintenance your aircraft, uh, whatever that might be, being able to stand and walk along the side of that aircraft. We put this away. Okay, all we need to do is we take our inner, you unlock those specialized hinge locks, just lean it against your body. Remember how we took one, turn one around? Just line it, line it straight back up. Make sure that these are open. And all you need to do is just slide it right into position. That is the, air, that is the aircraft support ladder. We sell a few different models of this. They're all available uh, with the, within the government division of our company. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.